Give Help Now started over 10 years ago from one family who saw the need in one school and started donating fruit items to the school. Started with 10, quickly went to 100, then it morphed into a life group that started making peanut butter jelly sandwiches each week, taking 100 of them each week to the school. So now we're almost at 600 sacks per week going to the four schools in Sherman ISD. We do Dillingham, Neblet, and also Jefferson and uh, Sherman High School. A year ago at this time, we were only doing about 400. So now we're doing almost 200 more, close to 600 per week. So the need is really great. Um, and we we see more and more each week that are needing um, the food for the weekends. Today was a record. 580 is what we did today. So, you know, just goes to show you the need that we have in Grayson County and the Sherman ISD that there are kids that are going hungry each week that we're trying to provide a little hope for. Each week we have a team throughout the week that does different things. So some are putting bread in Ziploc bags or cookies in Ziploc bags. Then it all comes together on Thursday morning where we have a team that comes in and puts all of the items that we've collected for that week, either we bought or been donated uh, into brown bags that go into totes. And those totes are then taken to the school. And then on Friday, at the end of the day, the staff at the schools pass out to those kids that are in need. It's amazing to me that it's not just the staff at the schools that have a positive influence from this, but the other kids that know these kids need food. And some of those letters do come from those kids of how my cousin, my friend, they got the food sack on the weekend and that's all they had to eat for that weekend. So it's really heartbreaking that we have, we live in a country in a Grayson County that that occurs in, but we know it's real and we want to provide the best we can to those kids that are in need. When you read those letters? Oh, I, I want to cry every time. So it's, it's just amazing. Um, last year, I think we got 400 letters from the schools, which was just overwhelming. Um, and the staff really sees it too. You know, the staff has really had a hard time the last couple of years with all that's gone on. And um, the staff really sees the need uh, and it impacts them too. So we're providing hope. That's really all that we want to do is provide hope to these kids that uh, somebody does love them. We'll always have more hands. Thursday mornings, we're here at the church every week of the school year, packing the bags. Or if there's something that you would like to do differently, labeling our brown bags or putting cookies and Ziploc bags throughout the week, there's always opportunity to contact Legacy Bible Church and they'll get you in touch with me and we'll, we'll get you set up. Or if you want to donate, we'll take any of the items that we kind of reviewed there. So anything's non-perishable, it can't be any fruits or anything that's going to go bad. Um, so it's got to be packaged, uh, but cookies, chips, uh, ramen, Chef Boyardee, all those kind of items. I would just say, let your heart be, guide you. These are school kids that are going home each weekend not knowing if they're gonna have enough food to eat. So um, it really is a service that, that really provides those kids hope.